Brian, what's the takeaway from this? Well, obviously disappointing when you turn the ball over five times, four times on offense. You're never going to really have a chance to win the game. So, um, you know, we got to do a better job of protecting the ball. The, the one that was kind of obvious. Yeah. What, what happened? Uh, I was getting ready to rip it to Curly. Like, he, he ran, a, like, he had a double move route, and I thought he was going to win. And I went to throw it, and I was going to throw it hard. And literally, my, I think my arm even went forward. And then you're, like, looking around, like, you know, where's the, what happened to the ball? And, my quarterback coach asked me, like, when's the last time that happened to you? I think maybe a few years ago in practice it happened one time. I've never really had that happen in a game. So it's like the worst feeling. You know, you go to throw the ball and you're looking, and then all of a sudden you look around and you have no idea where it is. It's like it's, it literally is the worst feeling that I've had as a quarterback. Well, slippery or what? I, I mean, I, can't, I couldn't tell you. I mean, it's, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on out there. So all I know is I went to go throw the ball, and my arm went forward, and the ball wasn't in it. So... You got the penalties too. Sure. Do you feel like the offense is just misfiring here? What, what do you well, we can't hurt ourselves. I mean, that's obvious. Um, you know, we had it. We had it last week too on our, on our third down. We have to. You know, that stuff takes no effort. It's just the mental part of it. You know, lining up, making sure people are set when we when we motion, things like that. Um, you know, we got to really uh, take control of it as an offense and and not let it happen anymore. Any frustration among the players or? Maybe. Well, I think, you know, this is our first time handling a little bit of adversity as a team, you know, as, as the 2017 49ers. And, and now just you got to see how you respond to it. Are we going to take it and learn from it and, and come together and come closer? Or are we going to, you know, separate? And I think we have the right guys in that locker room that we're going to go at, go, go tomorrow, uh, Monday, and, and watch the film, be really critical of ourselves, ask what we can do better, you know, individually, and, and then move on and have a great week next week. Did the, did the interception... Uh, Surprise or puzzle you at all? You're probably looking and look like it might have been a completion. Sure. Well, yeah, I mean, that's just, it's part of football. You know, Marquise, you know, he already came up to me and said he feels terrible about it. It's, it's, it's football. Uh, it's unfortunate. Things happen. You move on and you play the next play. Um, you know, so th that's the one thing is, you know, there's, there's, it's not time to panic. You know, you go on and you keep playing. That's all you can do. You don't want to worry about what's in the past. You just worry about that play at that moment and, and keep moving on. Before that, inter or before that fumble, I should say, it seems like you and Marquise have kind of found a groove together. How do you think that relationship between you guys has been building? Throughout? Yeah, well, that's that's the hard part. Is even though we were, we kept putting ourselves back, we were, we were moving the ball, and and that's the, you know, there's there's definitely positives to look at. You know, I thought our pass protection was unbelievable. I, I didn't get touched all night, and that's two weeks in a row against two pretty good defenses where our offensive line had done a great job in pass protection. So. You know, you, you obviously right now we feel all the negatives, but I think we're going to go and watch the film and realize, you know, really we're just hurting ourselves. And, and um, there's, we're doing positive things. We can't do the things that are going to, you know, keep, keep us from going and taking that next step. Like the, the first couple of games you guys have struggled to get Carlos in a rhythm. Is it important at some point over these next two weeks to get him going? Uh, just, just so you know what it feels like within the offense? Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, you know, you want to go out there and perform well, and, and uh, the running game is so huge in this offense. And, and um, you know, you, you go against, you know, certain looks, and then now all of a sudden it's a different look, and, you know, they play a different front. And, you know, we'll get it. I'm sure, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what this offense is built on. You know, so we'll go back and, like I said, watch the film, make the corrections, and, and get it working for this week. Oh. Kept his cool with us a little bit. He definitely didn't seem pleased by, by the performance. I, mean, I don't think any of us should be pleased right now. I mean, it, it's pretty, you know, when you put the defense in that situation, um, regardless if it's a regular season game or preseason game, you, you should feel, you know, displeased with, with the performance. And that's the, the biggest thing is how do we respond? Do we take it and, you know, look internally and make the corrections? Or are we just going to say, ah, you know, it's a preseason game, you know, we'll move on? You know, that, I think we have the guys that have the right attitude, and, and we'll see how we respond this week. Uh, CJ Bathard look from a quarterback's perspective. Yeah, it was great. I mean, it's funny. Like the the play he hit to Aldrick is it's like almost the same play that Matt hit him on last last week and kind of got things going. And then it was good to see George Kittle, you know, get out there and play and make a play. I mean, I thought he was about to fall down, and and all of a sudden he runs a guy over and runs it into the end zone. So, um, you know, those are those are positives too. I mean. In every game, you know, you're going to find positives and negatives. And, and the thing is, you, you build on the positives and, and you learn from the negatives and keep getting better. How do you view that you, know, you guys practiced against this team twice mm -hmm. and more than held your own? Sure. And then what happened tonight? So what's the real? Well, I think in practice, we didn't turn the ball over. You know what I mean? That's the big thing. And, and then when it comes to a real game and you turn the ball over and you put your defense in a bad situation, that's, that's just not win, winning football. And um, we always talk about, you know, the, the ball and protecting it and the defense trying to get takeaways. And tonight we were just, you know, a bad turnover ratio. And that, that never really gives you a chance to win. A couple more. 
game like tonight, when things obviously aren't going well offensively, what's what's Kyle like on headset on the on the sideline? What's his demeanor like? No, I think you know he's all, he's he's great. He just you know keeps looking at the, you know what can we do to get them? You know what what are what are, how are they playing and what are the plays that are going to affect their defense the right way? And and that's the way it should be. The mindset for the entire team is, hey, things aren't going great, but you you just keep playing, and that's the thing is. Um, you know, eventually it comes around and, and you, you hit a few big plays, just like CJ did coming out of halftime. You hit a big play for a bunch of yards and then come back and hit another um, keeper for, to George and he breaks a tackle and it's a touchdown. I mean, that's just the way football is. Are you looking forward to you know, getting out of camp mode and start the whole game plan, you know, start building the habits that will carry over for the season? Your, your weekly routine? Sure, I mean, it's always great to get to that, that third preseason week and really kind of model it after how the week is going to go during the season. So, like we said, you know, we'll, we'll go in, we'll watch this film, you know, really figure out what we need to correct and then go and prepare for Minnesota like we're going into a regular season game and a normal week like that. And, and um, like I said, just see how we handle a little bit of adversity. Yeah, just it, it wasn't it wasn't working, and you know I kind of had to do the high school thing and run over to the sideline a few times, and then they gave me a backup helmet, and that was right before the, the fumble, so I, it really didn't, you know, it wasn't too big of an issue, and you know we always have you know play, plays in case that happens, so I was you know before Kyle called the timeout, I had to play ready just in case, and um, you know obviously he wanted to get the play called that he wanted, but um, you know that's something that you have to deal with, you know there's there's always hiccups everywhere no matter what what part of the game it is and you just you just deal with it and you keep playing all right all right thank you